Hello there. In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform DIC, also known as Direct Inventory Corruption. The prerequisites to this are only having one arrow stack and or a way to eat or get rid of them, and two, to either have Eventide or Trial of the Sword unlocked. I will now be showing you how to corrupt your arrows. I will be corrupting mine with the durability of this spike bow. bow. Have the last bow in your inventory equipped and create K plus one offset. In my case, that is only one. After you do that, trigger an auto save and then enter event tide. After entering event tide, find one weapon and one shield. Then, drop the shield and unequip the weapon. Then, reload your auto save that you created. Then, after reloading your save, you're then going to want to trigger another auto save without syncing your game data. So avoid either opening your inventory, map, or quick menus. After triggering an autosave, feel free to reload it to see your prize. Congrats. Congratulations, you have now successfully corrupted your arrow count. Now, I'll be showing a quick and easy method to corrupting four items at four materials at once. First things first, generate. K plus 4 offset, which in my case is only 4. After breaking 4 slots, then equip the last weapon in each slot, except for bows and shields, which you only can have one of, and they have, must be equipped. Same with your arrows. Then, have the 4 materials that you would like corrupted lined up in the very front. And drop any dupes. Then, trigger an auto save. After triggering an autosave with everything equipped, enter Eventide. On Eventide, you may you may be allowed to drop some weapons to make gathering four weapons easier. After entering Eventide, you are then going to want to pick up four weapons and one shield. We can do the same thing that we did earlier, except for this time we are going to need to grab up more weapons. Feel free to grab the spears that are over here that are being protected by the Bokos. In total, you want four weapons and none of them to be equipped. Then, reload your autosave. Now, after reloading your autosave, do not sync your game data, but fire an arrow and then trigger another autosave without opening your map, inventory, or quick menus. With this autosave being triggered, you are now safe to reload and see uh, the corrupted 4 stacks, and with us having 4 offset, K plus 4, these 4 items will now be transferred to the front and continuing the chain. If you happen to have any duping key items such as champion's abilities or stackables, make sure to generate that amount of offset to make sure that you have the K plus 4 still. So feel free to reload. After reloading, you should now see that you have a corrupted 4 of your items and the last 4 items have been put at the front. Now feel free to rechain this, except for uh, make sure to drop these four weapons. Those are not able to dupe if they have multiple in your inventory. 
Now, while you may be happy with the corrupted materials, there's still something I would like to cover. Corruptible key items. All stackable key items are corruptible to 999. Those include spirit orbs, proxies, and all of the DLC emblems. They are corrupted in the exact same way, except for after you trigger an auto save without syncing your game data, you will have to eat or dispose of all of the extra stackable key items that you have. Now, this can be done with prompt entanglement with either invalid arrow or an alternative method, which is star. And that about covers the basics of the IC. Feel free to join the L205 Discord channel and ping me. The link to that will be in the description. Now, if you want to see more guides like this, let me know in the, in the comments. And feel free to subscribe to support me. And that has been all that I want to cover. Thank you for watching.